guys and welcome back to the garden welcome to my channel if you're new here my name is Blanca so today's video I am gonna show you what I've been up to I am actually under my orchid section um, right in here um, even though you can't see anything yet I'm gonna show you so I'm not done a hundred percent we are just um, finished phase one and I just can't wait to show you um, what I've done because of course I love to read your comments I love to get ideas from you guys and it's been a long time coming so I'm gonna show you the first step of my revamping of my orchid section you guys ready all right so I'm gonna just step back and show you what has been done all right so take a look all of these cables that are running inside my orchid section are brand new we have not been able to do this because of all the rain that we've been getting and today it was finally complete so let me show you right now it still looks a little weird because my plan is everywhere I have the cables and um, as you see the cables are going from palm to palm everywhere I have these cables I do want to um, to get some some type of vine so I can cover it and make it look very jungly under here I've already kind of <laughs> kind of started hanging stuff okay so my idea for this is um, before I did this I just had two grilled gazebos jam-packed with orchids and I feel like with all the rain that we've been getting and the amount of orchids that I buy on a yearly basis um, they were just all gonna be you know crammed in there and I wanted to you know give them more space so this is where the cable comes in so I do have lots of cables running through and let me just show you what it is so there's like some type of piping there I did have to have my gardener do this for me you guys I'm um, just wanted to let you guys know this was done um, by a professional um, it was just too much work for my son and for my husband to do on their own so um, what what he did is that he got he was able to get um, these these wires or these cables and just take them all the way through and they are wrapped around all of my palms all of my royal palms which actually i think is perfect for what i needed so i am able to hang every single vanda from all of these all of these cables and separate them at least a foot so i get to have a foot in between which they did not have and i feel that um they were suffering but just because too much rain too close together this way I can just display all of my vandas all the way around in my orchid section I don't know if you guys can see it it's just so much green it's hard to tell but they're all hanging from these wires I'm so excited and then I can even hang like I even um, got a space right here where I have my Hoyas and my Boba Phylums and I'm gonna just separate them by um, just by species so um, let's see so I've got the Hoyas hanging right here which I might go ahead and hang them from the cables I'll find a spot for them and then I've got look at that I've got um two rows or vandas going this way and like I said I've got my boba phylums over here I just have to kind of play around with the sun so the ones that um, need more sun like my vanda violetta I'm gonna put her more which she's right over here or no right over here I'm gonna put her more um, in an area that gets more sun. The ones that don't don't need that much sun, that just needs like um, filtered light, I'm gonna just play around with them. But I've got so much hanging space, you guys, which is exactly what I wanted to do. So all of this area <laughs> looks like a zip lining. It looks like a zip lining park, but I don't care because um, <laughs> eventually it'll all be covered in some type of vine. That's my plan. Now we are also working on a sprinkler system, which I'm gonna put in here. So I will, now that you get a better look from that cable right here, I will get, I am gonna get a sprinkler system. This way all of my Vandas can get watered every day by like a mister. Cause right now I do have a sprinkler system, but it does go very fast. And I feel like getting like a misting system under here is gonna be great. Um, and now that I have this done, now I can focus on getting, getting blooms because as you can see everything is just really green I have no new flowers on my vandas which has me a little bit um, kind of like discouraged uh, but um, I feel like now that I have everything in place how I want it hopefully the rains are gonna um, die down a little bit once we get into September and I can um, 
have more time for fertilizing. I'm gonna have all of my kids out of my house. They're all going to college. So um, very soon I can just focus on, um, well, you know, on my life, on my, my work and my orchids. And, and I can give them a little bit more, um, more TLC. So just wanted to do this quick video to show you what we've been up to. I finally got um, all these cables. If you guys are interested, I can definitely get the name um, of this type of wire because I have, I have no idea what kind of cable this is, but it's a really, really, really heavy duty wire. Um, I am gonna probably end up zip tying some of them, but I wanna just uh, not do it yet because I want them to be able to, I wanna be able to just move them around the orchid section. So, so there you go. So there you go. Right now, I don't know if you can get, you guys can get a clear look, but still don't know if I'm gonna keep, keep the grill gazebo. I might move it around because right now it just looks a little bit messy. I've just been uh, moving my vandas and seeing where I'm gonna put them. So, so that's it, you guys. I even have some cabling back here. If you have any advice, look at all the cables. <laughs> look at all this. They went off on the cables, but um, I'm happy because eventually, um, I mean, I, in a year, on a yearly basis, I do add lots of orchids to my collection. So I think here I have like so much room now to just play around with everything and get everything nice and organized, nice and watered and fertilized and, and just kind of keep this area in this section for them. And, and that's it. I also wanted to, um, to let you guys know that this weekend there will be um, a back to school orchid sales event down at Ophi's in Homestead. So that should be fun. I won't be there because I'll be dropping off my children in college, but I hope you guys have a wonderful time. I'm sure I'm going to see some footage of that show and um, you know, if you can make it, that'll be awesome. And then, and that's it. So hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Uh, let me know um, if you guys have any ideas for me because I'm always open to your great ideas. And this is, like I said, step one <laughs> of lots more, um, more to come in this section. Definitely wanna get, um, like I said, a lot of this lining just going all around. So, so that's it, you guys. This is what I've been up to. I hope that you guys like it. And let's see, I've got a, a cat Leia here. Let's see you. Oh, she's a pretty girl. She's in bloom. And she's fragrant. I'm not sure where her tag is. Actually, I do see her tag, and then I've got another bud right here. But I think other than um, this cat Leia, and this is called the uh, the RLC Prima Dragon, Prima de Gracia Volcano Beauty. Oh, that's a dragon. Um, so she's in bloom. Um, I've got a lot of other other orchids that um, are in uh, are in bud. So once those those bloom, I will be back. And now that my orchid section's back up, I will be out here more often. So thank you guys for watching. Thank you for being patient. And I will see you soon in my next video. Bye bye.